Sophie was bred every six months from the time she was six months old while living in dirty and unsanitary conditions. Libby Post, executive director of the New York Animal Protection Federation, adopted Sophie 10 months ago, saving her from certain death. And she is suffering from puppy mill PTSD. Um, and she's, you know, it's been almost 10 months and she's still fearful. She's still um, skittish, but she's come a, a very, very long way. The puppy mill bill would ban the sale of dogs, cats, and rabbits in pet stores in the state of New York. The legislation was passed by the New York State Senate and now awaits Governor Hochul's signature. Assemblyman John McDonald said this legislation will provide more support for humane societies and shelters. And he added that he's seen most for-profit entities sign on and support this legislation. At the end of the day, we're taking away the commercialization of selling of dogs, plain and simple. We are focusing on the right pet for the right home in a safe environment. Last year, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals rescued more than 500 dogs from a puppy mill in Iowa. And according to the documents filed with the New York State, more than one third of New York's puppy selling pet stores imported puppies from that specific breeder in Iowa. There are no humane puppy mills. There's just no such thing. OK, they produce uh, living creatures like a factory makes a cheap pair of shoes. Ketzer added that New York in particular is a big market for Midwestern puppy mills. He said the state is quote unquote powerless when it comes to overseeing the large scale puppy mill facilities in the Midwest. But this bill gives them some power back by cutting off the pipeline to New York pet store retailers. Many four pod friends are excited about this legislation. McDonald said that his two dogs, Boston and Cooper, are very supportive of his advocacy efforts for this bill. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.